everyone, this is Christina with Two Howling Monkeys and in this video we're going to show you how to remove a presser foot. So we're going to show you how to remove a presser foot on actually a couple of different sewing machines because there's basically three different ways of removing a presser foot and putting it back on. So we want to make sure we have them all covered. For this one we have the Singer Simple and this presser foot pops off and on so I'm going to show you that and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it real good. So you can see a good close-up view here of the little workings here. You've got the needle, you've got the shank, and this little plastic attachment that screws onto the shank that holds the presser foot here. Now if you're wanting to take this particular presser foot off you raise it up with the lever and you pull down on the presser foot and it comes right off. You can see there's where it just snaps onto that plastic piece. To attach it back, you lower the shank back down, put it into that little groove and push it in and it snapped on. You could hear it. Next, I'm going to show you how to remove the presser foot on a Singer Quantum Stylus and this is another way that's very common how to remove the presser feet. So we got a close-up view here of the presser foot on the Singer Quantum Stylus and this is another um, version of how presser feet are attached and how you take them off and on. This is the needle, this is the shank, this is the presser foot, and this here is the attachment that attaches the presser foot to the shank. And this right here is what I was wanting to for you to see. And that is what releases the presser foot from the shank. I'm going to show that to you again. So you raise the presser foot up and you just push on that little knob and it releases it. So I'm going to show you here. Here's the top of the presser foot and this little bar here is what snaps onto that right there. So to put it on, you line it up, you lower the shank and you snap it right on. There it is. Like I had mentioned earlier, there are times when you're going to need to release the presser foot from up here. There are some presser feet that have the special presser foot with the this whole attachment here. So all of that will need to come off. So that is what I took off. Here are some examples of presser feet that have that attachment all in one piece with the presser foot. Got some strange looking things here. So this here is a hammer foot and you can see the shank goes down in here. This goes around the shank and the screw tightens up right there and we'll put use this one to put it on. These strange contraptions here, this is a ruffler. It looks like some medieval torture device that I don't even want to guess. But yes, this is a ruffler foot. And this is a walking foot. So these are some strange things that you can attach to your sewing machine. Again, this is a close-up view of the shank, the screw, and the needle here. And if you loosen this screw enough right before it comes off of the shank, then usually you can attach um, your presser feet onto that without getting that screw all the way off. I try to do that because sometimes it can get really difficult to align the screw with that hole and get it in just right. So I have the hammer foot and so I just put it in there like that. It's on there around the shank and you tighten the screw up. So I'm going to show you that again. So rather than taking this screw off putting this on there and then trying to put that screw in there. I just usually wiggle it in there and it, if the screw is loose enough it goes on there pretty good. 
and you just tighten the screw till it's snug then you want to take your screwdriver and tighten that good because you do not want your presser foot coming off in the middle of you sewing that's not good that happened to me one time <laughs> it was not a good thing so that's how you do that now it's on there good so that is the video on how to put on and take off a presser foot on the three different ways. I hope this video helped you into better understanding how to sew. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Two Howling Monkeys, and we will be posting videos weekly on tutorials on how to sew. Thank you very much everyone for watching. You all have a wonderful day.